video will be working on this AC. You can see here my compressor is running. What's happening is after it runs for about 20 minutes, my lines will start to freeze up. So I connected my gauges. There's usually three reasons why your line starts to freeze up. Number one is a dirty filter. Number two, the blower motor is not running. And number three, the issue could also be you're low on refrigerant. If you look at the gauges, you can see that we definitely do have an issue with this system. Here, I inspected the filter. The filter is clean. And now I'm going to go ahead and inspect the blower motor. The blower motor is operational. The possibility that's left is going to be a restriction in our lines. Sometimes when you're dealing with a restriction, you want to come here and check your uh, supply lines outside by your condenser. Usually if there's a filter dryer, sometimes the filter, the filter dryer will get clogged up. This one doesn't have a filter dryer, but if you do, you want to inspect that. You want to check the temperature coming in, and then you want to check the temperature coming out. Usually if there's a restriction, it'll be, uh, you'll, you'll see the temperature will be different. Um, on one end or the other of your filter dryer. Before you open the system, you want to recover the refrigerant. Uh, I'll do that right now. Uh, go ahead on my channel if you need to and see how to uh, do a proper uh, recovery of your refrigerant. But for the time of this video, I just want to deal specifically with this issue that we're having um, with the pressures on our gauges. So here, this is gonna be where my orifice is on my system. Depending on your system, it may vary. You may have an orifice or a TXV valve. So right now we're gonna go ahead and open up this um, orifice and inspect it. We uh, basically did a proper recovery, so there's no refrigerant in the system. When you're opening your orifice to remove the piston, use two crescent wrenches and be very careful as to not to over torque it. Here's the piston. I don't see any restrictions. I remove my Schrader valves, use the nitrogen at my EVAP and blow down. The reason I'm doing it this way is because gravity is gonna help obviously the nitrogen just push down. So we'll go ahead and blow these lines out. Here I have my nitrogen. I'm basically gonna insert it into this line and I'm going to just allow the nitrogen to purge or blow out if there's any restrictions in there. And then we'll go ahead and do it on this side as well. Now we're gonna put our piston back in and tighten the orifice. I installed a filter dryer on the system. Obviously we wanna protect the system in regards to any more restriction. We already have the nitrogen out. Uh, we ended up using the nitrogen as we were brazing just to make sure that our lines inside stood nice and clean. I have a video posted on my channel and how to replace your filter dryer. Put our Schrader valves back in on both the high and the low side. Using our gauge as a metering device. So I already have everything connected and now we're gonna turn it on. I see some smoke. Don't panic, that's normal. The smoke will dissipate after you continue through the process of vacuuming your system. So now we're going to close our gauges and we're going to turn the vacuum off. We're just gonna sit and wait just to make sure that we don't lose our vacuum. We've completed our vacuum. We're going to go ahead and charge the system up. Now we're charging up our system. You can see we no longer are having issues with the pressures on our gauges. The compressor is running. This video was a help. If it was informational, Please subscribe.